And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen LeBlanc. Gonna be our other Garen deck. This one is built around reputation and attacking and really maximizing our two champions, Garen and LeBlanc. They're both five power, and that's what you know, Garen in here has five power. And so we're gonna have different reputation cards that reward us for striking with five power units, uh, with I guess mostly just whisper words, you know, being able to be a two mana draw to. With uh, if you're able to enable reputation, we also have the incisive tactician. There will be a six mana rally, um, but yeah, we're we're definitely going to want these two in play because we have a lot of spells in this deck. Um, you know, bloody business, whirling death. I guess bloody business needs a five plus power um, ally, uh, but yeah. So those are going to be our removal spells. We'll have some protection with sharp sight, prismatic barrier, and ranger's resolve, and um, then we're also going to have Cato the arm. At the top end to be able to uh, give overwhelm for the round uh, to help us finish out games so we're going to try to control the board with our early stuff we're going to have challengers with fleet feather tracker and triferian glory seeker and then ways to kind of support those challengers with either legion drummer or bright steel protector to make it where they can challenge and not die and so we're going to you know, be using that for our early removal control the board get our champions in play and attack a bunch with the champions a couple are on blade keepers to uh, help out because we have a bunch of low health units with you know, LeBlanc, um, these two with Legion Drummer and Bright, Bright Steel Protector, you know, like all these things are like low health. Um, but with the Protector and the Drummer, they're three twos, and so Blade Keeper turns them into five fours, and so then they would help enable reputation. All right, but let's get, go ahead and get to it. Let's try some Garen LeBlanc. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Yeah, we got a Garen deck here, Mark. Yep. Playing some Garen today. All right, we got Fizz Puppy. Glory Seeker really needs. I think I'm gonna keep a Glory Seeker, but it really needs one of these support things. But maybe I should. Okay, there we go. It's got the drummer for support. Maybe I should be sending it back anyway, though, because of how poor it is against Pokey Stick. That's the name of the card. Okay, so this does allow us to open attack, but obviously we want to play LeBlanc first before attacking. It just, it's a nice open attack right now where they can't necessarily kill the Legion Drummer if we challenge the 2-2. Alright, we're going to play LeBlanc though. Well, this could backfire a little bit. Yeah, see, now now they get to block and kill the Legion Drummer, and that's that's unfortunate. So we're, you know, trading Legion Drummer now for, you know, basically both of those instead of just getting the free attack. But we're doing that to help level up LeBlanc, help our reputation out. You know, LeBlanc's 10 out of 15. They attack with Pompey? I don't know. I'll pass the round. Yep. So Alright, so that levels up LeBlanc. I guess if I, I wouldn't mind LeBlanc going to a 6-1, I could have uh, blocked that Protoporo also. And then that would have been another reputation hit. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Luck, a thing. L, that's not ours. I need just a moment. Um. 
Oh, that worked out pretty good. Okay. Good protection. Yeah, and that's true. Ravenous... Yeah, that's true. These decks do play Ravenous Flock, so the like, good thing that we... Probably a good thing we didn't block earlier because of Ravenous Flock. I want to pass because I want to be able to have Bloody Business and Sharp Side available. Like, they play a Poppy. We want to... Bloody business it. You Ooh, travelers. Ugh, so much for the bloody business. Really? I guess this could end up bad if they have triple triple noxion fervor. We fight for those who cannot. That's gotta be pretty unlikely though, right? So there was the flock. Yeah. It's not too surprising that that's what was in their hand, is just multiple flocks. Those aloof travelers have been kind of mean. Oh, you meant, you meant, I can't, okay, when you said I can't see punish, yeah, that's, like, why didn't I block those, and, yeah, I guess I, I could have with, like, the small things, um. We made it, yay. But our stuff did it. Man, they. You're covered. Yeah, we're just talking about Ravenous Flock, and so that's why I was thinking, it's like, I didn't really want to, uh, trade Ravenous Flock, but, I guess we're just gonna be open attacking. You know, trying to think if we want to play the mirror image or not. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Hmm. Hmm. Why do I have to say that we're going to be open attacking? So I'm trying to do like the most overwhelmed damage I can right there. They're willing to take six. All right, that'll do. Okay, I know getting there, it was one step closer. You know, a little tough at the end, but still ended up getting there. Draven Scion. Okay, I can see this being another difficult one. Yeah, definitely could see this being a difficult one. Um, certainly want our like quick attack. Cool. Yeah, I want that Leaf Feather Chakra with a quick attack. I 
No, no, no Abyss Landmark in the previous deck. No, no, not the Garen Sejuani, no. It would, had, the top end was just some, uh, what's it called? Uh, some Overwhelm units. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Show them the light of Noxus! Ooh. All right, no, get excited. Well, that's great news. No, get excited. It's Draven time. The Black Rose blooms once more. All right, glad there's, uh, you know, they didn't have the survival skills. Very glad for that. No, we'll need Whirling Death. Like, probably not. The halls are bound with blades in we can make the Fleet Feather Tracker. To awaken the blood with you. All right, so you're just at zero, right? So let's... Yes, yeah, so it doesn't matter what order we put them in. Oops. I do want to save the drummer. Oh, right, they just do that. Alright, so we got bunch of Risen Riders and Twin Blade of Revenant. Alright. Boom ba boom. Surprise to see. Well. I still have one um bloody business. For removal. What's up, Kato? We don't get to do with since we're not playing Might, as we talked about earlier, we took out Might from the deck, we don't get to like Might the LeBlanc and then mirror image it. I'm still at like a million life, right? Oh, 14? That's not a million. Last I checked, that's not a million. Alright. So I'm doing this right now so that we... I guess I should maybe Sharp Sight first also. To make an 8-5 to save two more life. Like, they already have the attack token, so the rally doesn't matter. And so that's why I want to do it right then. If I'm, yeah, because I'm planning on, like, sharp sighting that thing anyway, because they're going to do that. So then if I would have sharp sight, we would have gotten two 8-5s. We're still... Alright, we're still at 7. 7 sounds like a healthy number. I can... Let this happen, you know, I have new LeBlanc, but... I'd probably save it, it's probably better. Oh, maybe I should use... 
this tough card also. I would have been at 8 if I used the tough card. Incisive Tactician! Oh! 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 Uh. Oh, we're just gonna Kato. We'll wait till next round for that, but the Incisive Tactician Mirror Image combo is such a good combo. Okay. A perfect puppet. All right, that'll do. Double Kato. GG's. One step closer. It's a good win. It's a good deck. If I were to use like the sharp sight first to make that the eight five, like I talked about, um, because we knew they were gonna be challenging. If I'm them, then I'd, I'd probably just challenge the ephemeral, and so that then my normal LeBlanc would have had to block their scion, and it kind of gets kind of messy for us. So I think it worked out just fine. Um, this doesn't do anything right away, but against Vagar Senna, we're gonna want the card advantage. But maybe I can't keep. He's like. Oh, they're a mini morph deck. Alright, I guess you're gone. <sighs> I wanna keep I wanna keep like all this stuff. Like I want these cards, but like I'm worried about them having the two mana three two and then attacking with that. Send it all back. Boosh says I think this matchup will be pretty difficult. Yeah, I can see I can see that. Ideally, we don't play anything here. We have protection. All right, cool. They don't have the... Don't want to see the 3-2, the, the Catalyzer. I hate having to put my face on. The whole, like, block and glimpse beyond things also going to be annoying. Now we're just playing. We're just getting multiple go hards in our opener over here. We're living that kind of life. Is it you know the blade keeper attack? Is it just attack? Just open attack? Yeah, I think it's just open attack. Yeah. Because Vagar is always the scariest card, right? So they go Vagar this round. We're gonna want bloody business to kill Vagar. But because of darkness, this is I do want to give this plus two plus two. So now they didn't. I want to get that out of just regular darkness range. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that right now. The halls are bound with plated hand. New venue, new money. <laughs> okay, they did say the next day for the balance pad. Balance patch changes. I haven't seen that yet. Time to collect. Where are we going? I don't know. Like my blade. Wasted effort. Considering doing alright, so by whirling death, twelve, fifteen, la la. Yeah, there hasn't been a balance patch since Bandle came out, right? Close to two months ago. The third Gohard already? Already?
the heartbeat of Naxus. I want you to do damage first. Show them the might of Noxus! Sure hope they didn't find pack your bags. For the wicked, for the dead, I bring rest. Just gonna make my mirror image cost one. We're not gonna be able to create another one. That'd be cool if LeBlanc just kept creating more mirror images. That would be cool, but that's not how it works. Sometimes your opponent just draws lots of dough hearts. Four of them already. For the honor of my house. I don't my opinion on aloof, I don't I don't know, I don't really have a strong opinion on aloof. Aloof travelers. It doesn't really bother me. I was hoping to, you know, tactician mirror image this rounds, but that was that was pretty good. That loping telescope, a loping telescope card is pretty good. I wonder if people have heard of that card before. We got six cards over there. If Mirror Image does copy the Tactician, we like we probably win. We've seen them, they've just played Grasp the Undying before. Ooh. All right, all right. We probably win right here. Mirror Image, Tactician, such a good combo. Loving Telescope probably just made like three mana, you lose the game. All right, we won. Three and zero. Oh. Yeah, Garen's pretty awesome. We just had to draw Garen, and the game's over. GG's. All right, back to darkness. Control yet again. Want to keep a second LeBlanc for after the first LeBlanc dies? No, probably not. I guess LeBlanc's pretty weak to darkness. All right, my this opponent's playing a probably a lot better darkness deck. They have they actually have the Catalyzer on too, which is really bad. Deal three. Garen, save us. Yuck. And those spiders are just really good against just 
just sitting in front of Garen and everything, too. All right, well. It's not going to always go our way. For justice. For Demacia. Rabbidon. Rabbidon. We'd much rather have a bloody business for this matchup because of Vagar than uh, Whirling Death. Alright, so their darkness has cost one mana. Only I can command darkness, only I! Oh, brilliant! I stand ready. Hmm. They're gonna us four now. And no, I'm not playing around Ruination because we just we're just gonna kind of die if they have Ruination because we can't play a long game with them. We gotta get in here and attack. If they have ruination, they you know, GTs. One goes down, thousands to go. So now these are fast speed. Fast speed fast speed deal four. Alright, I guess that card's not withering well then. What are you wearing? That was really a bad card for us to see. They could even have another one of those. My shield is yours. All right, saving Garen. Garen going with this for us. Ready to fire. Keep your distance. Hold fast. I mean, they have to. They have to make this attack and get the one mana darkness again. Oh, come on. to three.
So the Darkness can kill one of them. Obviously, it's going to kill the Kato. But we should be able to open attack now. They don't have fast speed the removal. We should, like, they're at three. We got three lethal attackers and a Prismatic Barrier. Show them the might of Noxus. Let's just kind of see what's up. All right, that's cool. I think we got him. I think we got him. Garen. Again. Man, Garen is just the best. Solve the meta. It's all Garen. Those kind of things. Ooh, we got a we got another really tough one with Draven Sion. We talked about how we don't love this matchup. We had got another one of those. And not a good hand. Trying to finish out the 5-0. But even if this turns into another 4-1, we'll take that. Because we've had tough matchups. Facing... If you're going to tell me we're going to play Draven Scion twice and Darkness Control twice, I would have said that we would maybe not have a very good record. But we haven't lost yet. Game's not over. Okay, you could use that Sharp Sight that we sent back. Since we're going to have the two spell mana. Thank you. Time for the main event. I hate having to put my face on. Let's do this. We can't really beat survival skills. So yeah, I'm thinking about just making this a 4-3, having the 4-3 challenge, the Draven. Um, I like that. Laurent's a bomb with blades in hand. The sun brought got me going. So at least if their plan is... Um... Now it's Whirling Death. If it's survival skills... You know, we'd have that cover, but if it's Whirling Death like this, that's not so good. We got backup of Blanc, though. It's just, you know, like three, you know, it's three mana removal, kill my three mana champion. We got, you know, we got a backup. Hmm. That's actually the plan. All right, so we can save one. Which one should we save? We save LeBlanc. We do 10 damage to them. If we save, put him down to 8. If we save Fleet Feather Tracker, we kill Draven. It's got to be LeBlanc, right? Yeah. Yep, chat says LeBlanc. Yeah. Put them down to 8. We got, we got some ways to get some more damage in. If I play Garen, they can kill Garen with Spinning Axe. We could Bloody Business get rid of the Revenant. But then if, if I Bloody Business, I can't have Kato and Garen next round. If we pass LeBlanc's dead... Watch and learn. Right? And then we'll play Garen. And then we have six mana next round. Yeah, that's too bad that LeBlanc's dead. Alternatively, I could just play Kato and the next round go like Glory Seeker or Glory Seeker plus LeBlanc, even. And then Kato and try to give like Overwhelm Glory Seeker on this Urchin. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. Time to make an appearance. I guess that's weaker to another removal spell. You know, if they have like another three damage removal spell. Put a lot of pressure on them, though. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Rude. I'll cut them apart. Look out! Face me. I didn't do nothing. 
If they do have a three damage removal spell, Blade Keeper is probably the card they want to use it on the least. So we're gonna make that the overwhelm thing. Now we're cooking. Ugh. God, I hate that. Got to hate that. One mana short from playing Garen and a bloody business. I need just a moment. We're also one damage short from bloody business plus sigil of malice making a mirror image. Basically, what I'm worried about, maybe I could have gone with the Glory Seeker. I'm really worried about the, you know, like three damage removal spell because these decks do play a lot. And how we saw some fumes already, um, I'm worried about three damage removal spell that just blows up the bloody business, that kills the bloody business and the LeBlanc and doesn't kill that other thing. It'd be just a real big blowout. So I'm playing the Garen instead so that uh, we'll, we could have like the bloody business with the Garen. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine mana. We can play everything in hand. Good to play everything in hand. Yeah. The best oh. lies are beautiful. You dropped something. I dropped everything. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Our opponents always have so many more cards than us when we're playing these Garen decks. And we're just like trying to trying to win. They always have so many more cards. Just gives them something to discard. It doesn't really matter though, right? Which Justice one of these? No. Yeah, it looks like Get Excited. I think that they have a get, a get Excited. And so if it is a Get Excited, I don't want to give them this thing to discard. I I really hope they don't have an, another Reborn Grenadier. That Reborn Grenadier killed us. That was a... That was a killer. Our last attack step. Okay, so some fumes. So yeah, so they so if I would have gone this bloody business last round, this some fumes would have just completely blown me out. Okay, then the two two blocks there, the one one blocks here. We level up Garen. No, they didn't just draw it with a loof. They pulled it over there because they it was over here originally because they they, they, protect, they were going to cast it and then went back over there to the side. They didn't just draw it with a loof. Unless I'm missed. I'm pretty sure they pulled it over. Yeah, they put it out here and then it went there. Best draw. Whatever they you know they play a blocker. We glory seeker, challenge it. It may not be bad just to play these. We get two more challengers. We can deal with two more blockers. I'm a little worried about, like, again, like the 3-2. I think that's what they're looking for is the 3-2. I guess they don't they don't have burst speed discard unless they have Poro Cannon. I don't really see why I wouldn't play these. The things that make multiple bodies. I don't think they do. So now if they do have burst speed blocker. Alright, cool. Let's say if they did have the burst speed blocker, now they like before they would be able to burst speed blocker, deal three to Garen, and then play the challenger, because they still have the attack token, and they could challenge and kill my Garen. And so I was a little worried about that. 
How about that? Garen with the 5-0. Garen, LeBlanc, and LeBlanc was awesome too. We have LeBlanc on round three and attacking on round three in most all of those games. That's going to be a good reason why we were ahead and why we were able to win a lot of them. Um, but yeah, we faced Draven Sion twice and uh, Darkness Control twice. Two decks that you know could usually handle some of the bigger units and could handle Garen. And we were still able to get that 5-0. Really, really impressed there. So that's awesome. So how about that? Nine and one with our two Garen decks. And everything did their job, right? Like our our Legion drummers helped out the Glory Seekers and Fleet Feather Trackers. Um, like the, the Blade Keepers with that plus two, plus two was really nice a few times. Whether it was like giving some extra health to LeBlanc or making Fleet Feather Tracker a larger uh, challenger. You know, things like that. Uh, we even got to do Tactician, get a win with Tactician. Tactician with um, Mirror Image from LeBlanc. That was a cool combo. And the Kato's were really big, really helping out with those overwhelms. Um, so everything did its thing. And then even like Whisper Words, right? Because we, we were running out of cards compared to the other decks. And so we need, because everybody's playing Vandal City, right? Like all the, like all these decks are playing Vandal City where they create all sorts of cards. Draven Sion also just has all sorts of card advantage in it. So like everybody's got, you know, all sorts of card advantage and they have, you know, they'll never run out of cards ever. But our deck doesn't, so we would run out of cards, so we needed those Whispered Words, and they were just two mana, and so they were quite good. Bloody Business doing its thing. Pretty nice. Sharp Sight, always an all-star. So there we go. That's Garen LeBlanc. So maybe Garen is the answer to this metagame. If they have all sorts of cards, just kind of kill them. You know, don't worry about trying to play card for card. Just play, you know, big things that maybe they have trouble stopping and just go for the win all right but that's going to be it here for garen leblanc so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and as always leave those comments let me know if you got other garen decks probably going to kick off tomorrow with a garen poppy um that's another deck that these are both cordek decks by the way uh cordek has been playing a lot of garen and in the discord channel was like um you know saying that uh been having a bunch of success with Garen. Had three Garen decks, these two, and a Garen Poppy. So we'll probably try that one out for our first deck tomorrow to uh, you know, see if Garen still does good tomorrow or if it's just today, <laughs> if it was just a magical Garen day today. All right, but uh, th thank you so much for watching everybody over on YouTube. I can never say that enough. I really appreciate it. Uh, have, have a good one, and I thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.